This is your Wall Street wake-up call. Global stocks are stable ahead of Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen's speech later today in Philadelphia. I'm joined now by David Leibowitz, the global market strategist at J.P. Morgan Funds. And David, it's great to see you. I mean, how do you think Janet Yellen will calm the markets in her speech today after Friday's dismal jobs report? So I, I think the key to understanding Friday's jobs report was that it was all about payback. You know, the unemployment rate fell very quickly. We saw a sharp decline in construction spending after a very unseasonably warm winter. So I think she's just going to remind everybody that, look, this is one data point of many that the Fed is looking at, and one data point does not constitute a trend. I'm not sure the Fed's going to make a move in June, but I think July is probably still on the table. Still on the table, although during her last speech about 10, day, 10 days ago, she said a rate hike in the coming months would be appropriate and a lot of market participants are disagreeing with that. What do you say? So I think this is a Fed which is going to continue to be data dependent. You know, that's been their catchphrase over the past couple of years. I don't really see the Fed moving in the wake of last week's job report, at least in June. But, you know, there's still plenty of data which can come out over the next few months which could sway them one way or the other. So we're keeping an open mind. We're watching the activity data very closely. You know, look, the labor market, the labor market's tight. The unemployment rate's at 4.7%. I think they've met their mandate there. I think we need to see the growth data pick up, and that's what's going to make them more confident to go in July. But doesn't the fact that the labor force participation rate fell for the second month on row, doesn't that worry you, especially after it rose for several months? It, you know, it, it's worth watching. Um, I think what you saw was 2.6, 2.4, I'm sorry, million people enter the labor force over the prior six months. And then over the past two, you saw 800,000 leave. So again, this report was all about payback. We shouldn't have seen people coming into the labor force given how weak growth was earlier this year. So again, I, I don't think that this is particularly concerning, but I think it is worth, you know, keeping in mind as we think about what the Fed's going to do. Uh, and what about for the markets? I mean, how do you think they'll react if Janet Yellen doesn't necessarily come across that dovish today? So I think markets may, may trip themselves up. I think the most important thing is to watch margins. You know, are we seeing wage pressure? Is that going to start eating, eating into earnings? That's what's really uh, our main focus when it comes to the behavior of equities is what does this all mean for corporate profits? And right now, you know, it doesn't look like it means anything too, too bad, but we are watching the, uh, the developments very closely. So your outlook on the S&P 500 and the economy, has that changed at all after Friday's report? It hasn't materially changed. We still, still think th stocks can be positive this year. We still think the U.S. economy can grow at about a 2% pace. But again, you know, we're expecting payroll growth to slow, and I think that this is the first sign that that, uh, that, that in fact, is beginning to happen. And payroll growth to slow after, you know, years of job creation, so may not be the worst thing. All right, David exactly. Leibowitz, the global market strategist at J.P. Morgan Funds. David, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.